Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing the Cool Summer Treats collaboration between Gel Southern Living, Yogi Hollow Farm, and Granny Moreno. So thank you to all three of you for doing this collaboration and um, I do realize that I'm late. Gail told me that it was going to end August 1st, but that if, if I got it done by the end of August she, she'd let me in on it. And um, if it's not put on the playlist, that's fine with me. Either way, I'm going to put it out and go check out all three of their channels, all right? I'm going to be doing Nanomi bars, and this is my wife's grandma's recipe. And, uh, her, her grandma was from Ottawa, Canada, so my wife says that this is a Canadian dessert. And, again, it's called Nanomi bars. And her grandma has passed, but her aunt made her this towel that has the original recipe on it, which is pretty cool. So this is her grandma's original recipe, the front and the back here. And it's on this like tablecloth. And it's pretty cool. It's very, it's really neat. Her aunt made that for her after her grandma had passed away. So I will show you this a little bit closer and we're gonna make this dessert today. So here's the towel that my wife's aunt made for her that has her grandma's original recipe printed on it for these Nanomi bars. And we are about to start making these. I think this was a very thoughtful gift. Uh, I really like it. Here's the ingredients that we're going to need to make our crumb mix for these Nanomi bars. We're going to need crackers, unsweetened cocoa, salt, vanilla, which I'm using imitation vanilla, sugar, and butter, unsalted butter.
Now we're going down here to the cream filling. It says one half cup of soft butter. So a whole cup is going to be, what, two more sticks? And then uh, I'm going to microwave that butter for at least 30 seconds to get it soft. Then it says three ounces of cream cheese. So I'm going to do six ounces of cream cheese. And I'm going to microwave that as well to soften it. Then I'm going to do two, well, double. So four tablespoons of instant vanilla pudding. And then two cups of powdered sugar. And then four tablespoons of milk. And yeah, we're going to, it says add the cream and the butter. The, the, <laughs> it says add the butter and the cheese pudding Beat in the sugar and the milk. Spoon over the cracker mix. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to need to make the filling. We have our milk, our powdered sugar, butter, instant vanilla pudding, and cream cheese.
Now we're on the last part of this recipe, which is the chocolate topping. And we're going to be using uh, semi-sweet chocolate baking chips and unsalted butter. Okay guys, so now it sits until the chocolate sets up on top and then you can pull it out and cut it into squares and serve it up. And uh, when you're not uh, getting it out to cut up some squares, you keep it in the fridge. This has to stay cold, okay? So, I would like to thank Gail Southern Living, Yogi Hollow Farm, and Granny Moreno for doing this cool summer dessert uh, collaboration. And I wish I would have knocked it out of the park, but it still tastes like it's supposed to. So, maybe I'll do it again sometime and try to get it perfect. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and give it a try if you want to. It's a great dessert. Thank you. Bye.